Hey, Michelle here. I hope you're having a very sexy day. Um, I just wanted to give you a little look in kind of behind the scenes of how um, we designed the jewelry and the really the very initial process. So I'm actually here at a jewelry design and supply show where I'm going to be looking at lots of different components and materials that we're going to use in the coming year to design all of the sexy pieces of jewelry that you guys will see on the website. So I'm going to take you along with me today. As you guys can see, there is a ton of stuff here. There are a whole bunch of vendors. Um, they, uh, some of them have some really lovely stuff, and some of them have some stuff that I, I refuse to give you guys. So we're having to pick through quite a bit, and um, it's gonna take some time. But so far, I've found a couple of gems that I'm hoping to be able to design with coming soon. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to carry on through the show and see if I can't find a couple more gems for you guys that I can design some sexy jewelry with. Alright, well, I'm back in the car, so that's it for this particular show. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> They uh, didn't have the quality of vendors that I would expect. And those vendors did not have the quality of product that I require in order to design jewelry for you folks. So there, we left a lot on the table here. There was a, a lot of stuff that I picked up and I looked at and I realized that the quality just isn't there. And I absolutely refuse to design a piece of jewelry for you that doesn't have really quality components. We even picked up a product from one supplier here at the show that when I turned the bag of these adorable pendants over, said they contained lead. <laughs> so no lead for you. I'm not, I'm not gonna design something that has a, a, a harmful chemical in it first off. So, But I did get a couple of things that I, I've already kind of showed, but I, I got these. So these are a really lovely kind of smoky color crystal. They're, they're big. Very, very sparkly. So I was really excited about those. And those are the type of quality that I usually require. Or I should say always require. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to say it down. So I also got these. So those are, you know, the the Triskillian pendant. Those are the, the BDSM stuff for the safe stain and consensual. Now these are the 316L stainless. I was assured by the seller that they are 316L. And if you know anything about the stainless steel that we use, I always use 316L or 304L. Um, it's a super low grade nickel or a super low grade stain, nickel stainless steel and the nickel all stainless steel has nickel you can't get around it but um, it's bonded really well in the steel so you, the surface of the steel doesn't have the nickel component so you don't end up having a reaction I'm, I'm highly allergic to stainless or to nickel not stainless so I, I try to avoid it at all costs in our designs, if at all possible. And we're usually really successful with that. So again, those are kind of cool. I'm really excited to design with those guys. And then the other piece that I got um, are these. Those are kind of like uh, a Celtic style knot. I'm really, really excited about these. I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. So that's a, 
another little pendant. These are also the 316 L stainless and they're thick. Look at how thick those are. I'm trying to block the sun so that you almost get them These are super thick. I mean, I think that's great. That means they're gonna be really, really, really durable. So I'm excited about those. Okie dokie folks, well I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here and travel home and I hope you guys are feeling extra sexy on this very, very nice sunny day.